शुक्लां ब्रह्म विचार सार पर्वा महाद्याम जगद्व्यापिनी मीना पुस्तक धारिनी मामलेदाम याद्यांधकारा पहाम हस्तेस पाठिक मालिकाम विदजतीम पद्मासने संस्थिताम वंदे ताम परमेश्वरीम भगवतीम बुद्धि प्रदाम शारदाम नत्वासरस्वती इंदेवीम शुद्धां गुम्यांकरों यहम पाणिनी अप्रवेशाय लघु सिद्धांत कोमुदी Uh, first a correction, yesterday towards the end I, uh, we did Moraji uh, Samakko and in that uh, we tried to derive this uh, Samrat Shabda. There uh, the Sutra said that Maha Raji Samakko says Kribante Rajato Pare Samaha Masya Makarasya Makara Eva Syat Makara Eva Adesha Syat. So Makarasya Makara Adesha Syat. I have made a mistake here of adding this monuswara. Mon, I should have said monuswara iti prapte. So when you reach this samrash after this vrascha vrascha, surja mrujay yaja raja bhraja chasham shah, when jakara has become shakara, after that uh, in the second pada this sutra is applicable. In the third pada of the eighth chapter, you monuswara is prapta, makarasya, Anuswara Adesha Prapte Sati Moraji Samakku. This is the sutra which is 8.325. And Monuswara Nascha Padantasya Jhali Nascha Apadantasya Jhali. Nascha Apadantasya Jhali after that the 8, 3, 8, 3, 25 is Prapta. Uh, is applicable instead of this monuswara makarasya anuswara adesha padante bhavati then nascha padantasya jhali is applicable but here uh, this sutra is not applicable instead muraji samakko by that makarasya makara adesha bhavati so this, this is like uh, uh, it's an apwada to uh, the earlier sutra therefore anuswara yeah, if you make uh, the way I did it, if you apply this sutra, Anuswara, then this sutra cannot apply because Anuswara is here. Anuswara sya uh, makara adesha na What will happen is that it will remain Anuswara. However, makara sya sama, samaha makara sya eva makara adesha bhavati. Therefore, if you do Anuswara, it will, uh, you cannot apply this sutra at all. So, this sutra is an apavada to the earlier sutra. Uh, in fact, monuswara, it is not padanta also. Some can be taken uh, that way because some say that the, uh, the uh, not some, it is uh, some is considered as a pada as well. In a, uh, in a uh, samasa situation, it may be applicable. Here it is not applicable. So we can say that monuswara, instead of monuswara, Nascha apadanta se jhaliti prapte sati. When that is uh, prapta, that time, Moraji samakko uh, as an apuada is applied and thereby this step, step is wrong. We can say after samrash, it remains samrash itself because of this sutra. This is what is called as uh, uh, if you don't apply this, if you don't apply this sutra, what will happen? Nothing will happen. The form will remain the same. However, the earlier two sutras, why they are not applicable? They are not applicable because of this sutra. Therefore, you have to apply this sutra. And this is what is called as, although it does not make a change in the form, it is what is called as Parjanyavat. Parjanyavat means in uh, areas where there is water, uh, the uh, there is still rain. So, it cannot wet the land. If the land is wet, there even when the, uh, there is a little rain, a drizzle, still it will re-wet the, uh, the land. So what is wet is made wet again. So Parjanyavat, although the land is wet, still the rain will rain, it will do its job. You can't make out the difference whether the land is wet or not because it was wet 
before the rain came in it was still wet similarly here makara was there even after the sutra makara is still there so what did it do it did nothing in our eyes however uh, the although the effect is same this effect wouldn't have come had the sutra not been applied because the earlier sutras would have uh, would have found their place here instead therefore this sutra has to be applied and uh, since we are going through the sequence see jhalam jashuante all this should have uh, come earlier see jhalam jashuante is uh, in the end i just uh, finished it up we were already late so this this sequence is also wrong jhalam jashuante is which number it is in 82 so 82 that sutra also has to go before so there is a sequence issue in tripadi you have to consider the sequence as well jhalam jashuante is 8 to 39 so if you mark it you will know that 8 to 39 should come in tripadi before therefore this this step itself will go earlier 39 after this and then this sutra will apply and therefore the form will be samrad itself here first samrash then samrad by jhalam jashuante then samrad by moraji samakko then finally vavasane char which is the sutra number in 84 which is 8456 so 8456 the last sutra to be applicable is vavasane char adesha dakara will take the first of the class which is the third so dakara samrat any questions in this matter so i regret the errors we'll uh, go to the uh, kind of a homework which i had uh, mentioned i don't know how many of you tried just for the accuracy of the sutra see uh, this all this derivation that we did for shanta all this is not needed in the sandhi prakarana however it tells us the accuracy by which sutra did you add the how how was the added and in what sense it is added where should it be added all this you have to know by sutras alone so even if our step is this where it is in anuswarasya e parasavarna so the step which we are looking at is this step only this step is important to learn the sandhi only this step is important but if i say shan plus the what is shan plus the we don't know sham sham plus this this step we don't know how it has come i could have started from here however we have to know that it is a derivation of what is sham we don't know so shamu upashame plus the so sutra nishta bhute and not only bhute dhato ho pratyeha parascha parascha through these sutras there are three sutras dhato ho adhikara then pratyeha and parascha these are two sutras dhato ho is panchami immediately after the dhato pratyeha is added after immediately dhato ho parah pratyeha bhavati and in which sense bhute kale arthe so in bhute arthe nishta pratyeha bhavati nishta is what ta tavatu nishta so here another sutra ta tavatu tavatu nishta that is the sanya sutra so i had uh, mentioned that uh, i had mentioned that this sh uh, akara which is an upada takes dirgha it takes dirgha upada dirgha upadayaha dirgha adesha bhavati thereby sham becomes sham and then makara takes anuswara adesha this is where our sutra anuswarasya e parasavarna is applicable and anuswara becomes nakara which is the varga panchama of the varga which is following y letter which is following that is takara there uh, that takes the adesha then uh, what is the other option here we have seen this uh, n it vibhashaya n it nishthayam nishthayam sham this shanta when you are deriving shanta that time uh, 
but optionally idagawa will not come so i had uh, asked if optionally idagama can come then since here we have not taken idagama then what will be the form so just look at the uh, possibility i'll just derive here itself and then we'll delete it optionally what will happen optionally you have reached uh, say you have, you have said sham plus the okay i'll just put it in bracket instead uh, instead of deleting it i'll put it in bracket so idag idagame kim bhavati so when there is idagama what will happen this is what will happen shamaha sham plus the you add sham plus the then same uh, same sutra is applicable this sutra and net nishtayam but va vibhashaya so vibhashaya net night therefore if you don't take this vibhasha as in you don't take the net paksha then set paksha so set pakshe kim bhavati idagame or set pakshe set pakshe kim bhavati there sham plus the here idagama is prapta why because takara here sham plus the takara is it here and then the when you this the is what valadi valadi pratya it is a pratya starting with val takara and akara takara is val val as in it is uh, antargata in val val pratyahara therefore ardha dhatu kasya idvala dehi we have seen that sutra yesterday when this this is an ardha dhatu ka pratya it is a val pratya therefore it is prapta and it is prapta but here vibhasha it is said that there is a vibhasha here now since it is a, there is a vibhasha we are taking the vibhasha and it uh, idagama will be there for whom it will be there it will be for the pratya here therefore this pratya will become sham plus ita sham plus ita actually here i can split this into two let's say if i split this into two then it will be seen more clearly hil sham plus the is because there is no idagama so idagama nisheda by this sutra then sham plus the is upada dirgha by this sutra anunasikasya kujjalo ho niti upadaya dirgha the sutra is only this much there is anurutti in the brackets upadaya dirgha iti anunasikasya kujjalo ho niti so anunasikasya this is anunasika so anunasikasya kujjalo ho niti niti pare kakara kit or nit now we know takara here takara this the uh, not, not takara ta pratyaya ta pratyaya is a kit pratyaya therefore this rule is satisfied then kujjalo ho kujjalo ho niti they are in samanadi kran this is saptami dvivachana and this is saptami ekavachana but telling you what kit and nit so kit or nit when kit or nit pratyaya follows what kind of a kit or nit pratyaya this is either a jhal or a quip quip pratyaya so quip pratyaya we have yesterday we have taken jhal because uh, this the is jhal and it is a kit pratyaya in this when we are taking this option of making this uh, idagama taking idagama for the then it will become ita and why is uh, this the nit although uh, is kit although kakara has gone this is kit pratyaya the you the is kit pratyaya here also ita ita is the pratyaya form has changed to ita wherever an agama is ordained it becomes a part of that uh, entity if it is for a pratyaya the agama becomes part of the pratyaya if it is an anga the agama becomes the part of the anga so it had the agama been ordained for this then it would have become part of sham 
here the agama is ordained for the pratyaya therefore it is part of the pratyaya now ta ta ita all these are various uh, forms of ta itself therefore it is ta is also kit this ta is also kit and ita is also kit so that that condition is satisfied then why not make upadha dirgha here but is it quip or jhal is this anunasika sya kujjalo when anunasika is immediately followed by a kit or nit pratyaya that condition is satisfied here sham is sham makara this makara is immediately followed by which is an anunasika varga panchama is immediately followed by a kit pratyaya still is it quip or jhal it is not quip def definitely not it was not quip here either but it was jhal here is it jhal here is it immediately followed by jhal no it is not followed by jhal letter it is followed by an ach letter therefore you cannot make upadaya dirgha you can't make dirgha for upada therefore sham remains sham here this sutra is is not applicable at all because it is although it is kit the other condition of quid jhalo ho is not satisfied it is not followed by jhal that's why you have to when you see this quid jhalo ho gniti the you see uh, two saptami is where the doubt may come you know quip is a kit letter quip is kit then why quip as well as nith has been talked about here need not be that's our thinking that would be our thinking and jhal is also talked about kit or nith both see here you see kit or nith if pratyaya the third nishthayam is talked about here nishtha pratyaya then that will definitely be a jhal this is a thinking no not necessarily whenever you see this what it means is that there may be a possibility of idagama coming there some agama may change its form and when that happens it is no longer followed by jhal the wherever the adesha is ordained it is followed by an ach therefore this is a non jhal kit pratyaya following it is not a jhal pratyaya ajhal it is ajhal it is an ach therefore upada dhirga cannot happen and thereby the form is shamita shamita itself and then if you decline it you will get shamita ha here uh, so this sutra is applicable you can take va but this sutra is not applicable upada dirghah na bhavati katham because of what reason niti pare api niti pare api jhali nasti since jhal is not present okay only this ach ach asti so you can say jhali nasti jhal nasti or i can say rather why we can say niti pare api jhali pare api ajhali so we can just say achi or achi niti pare api ajhali achi i hope this is clear so that was the exercise so that we know uh, what is the accuracy of the sutra there this put it in uh, okay so next sutra uh, before the next sutra some other examples here it means the same thing 
why should there when it vibhasha is there it should it means the same things there's a different form for me to mean shanta whatever shanta means shamita means the same thing there is absolutely no difference there is no reason to make a difference in those shanta and shamita mean the same thing Okay, so more Aji Samakko, so Maha here Anurutti of Maha from earlier Sutra is also there. So we say said Maha here Maha is Adesha, Makara Adesha Bhoti. Kasya Masya Makara Sya coming from Mohan Uswara. Samaha, so Samaha is Thani and Maha is Adesha. If you take that out, what remains? Raji and Ko. So these are conditions. Raji and Kau are conditions, and some samaha sama also brings in a condition makara, which belongs to a sum. Thereby, three conditions are mentioned. There should be a sum preceding. There should be. Uh, it should be a. There should be a quick pratya, and it should be for raj dhatu. Therefore, these three conditions are questioned now. Raji iti kim. So this we can bring in from uh, Kashika Ityadi. So Raji Iti Kim, counter, counter example. Meaning when, where is this applicable, the Sutra? Only for Raj Dhatu, only for Rajru Deepto Dhatu, not for anything else. So Raji Iti Kim, Sanyuta, the example given is Sanyuta. So there is sum, here sum is sum. So let's say Sanyuta and then sum, sum is common. Raj is not there. So, sum plus Raj plus quip was said here. Sum plus non, you have to take a non Raj example. So, here Sanyuta is what? Sanyut, not Sanyuta, sorry, Sanyut. Sanyuta is what? Uh, yud, yudhatu and then the. U plus the. Uh, no, it's not, sorry. Um, Sanyut uh, plus quip, I am sorry, quip. So plus quip, quip is mentioned, ko. So all, everything being common except for the dhatu changing. What will happen? Sam makarasya, makara adesha na bhoti. Then what will happen? You will get, you will get only, uh, you will get anuswara. Therefore you will get swanyut. And quip is mentioned here. So uh, due to quip, you will get, uh, uh, this is a zero pratya I had mentioned and then uh, uh, I think this is a tugagama. This would be a tugagama. Just let me cross check. Uh, I think rasvasya, uh, rasvasya pitikriti tuk. That sutra will be applicable. Samaha ko. I don't remember where I got the example from, maybe from Kashika or elsewhere. Hmm. So yesterday I was looking for some examples. So you, okay, let me check uh, dictionary itself. Rajate, Samraj, Samraj, no other examples are there in this, maybe Kashika itself. So Kashika says, Sanyut, yeah, Sanyut, oh it is from there. So I think it is uh, Yudhatu and uh, uh, there is a Sutra, Raswasya, Piti Kriti Tuk, Raswasya, Piti Kriti Tugagama. So, Adhyantau uh, Takitau Kit. So, Ante Bhavati. Yeah. So, Hraswasya. Hraswasya is this Dhatu which is Hraswa. Hraswanta. Pukara is Hraswa. Therefore, Dhatu which is ending in a Hraswa when followed by a 
pith followed by a pith krit pratya krit is a krit pratya and uh, pakara is it therefore it is a pith pratya so piti kruti piti kruti is what krit pratya which is a pith rasvasya uh, piti kruti yeah piti kruti took uh, in angadikara there is uh, the sutra in six chapter somewhere so tugagama and where will tugagama go tugagama is a kit agama it is actually took therefore being kit it will go at the end for the dhatu it is prescribed for this dhatu so at the end of u dhatu you will get this ta and kip is a zero pratyay we have said ve apruktasya therefore pakara is it kakara is it v alone remains and ikara is also it here since it is uh, anunasika thereby ve apruktasya a single letter when it remains in a pratyay that undergoes lopa ve he apruktasya if it is vakara alone and that is a pratyay vakara that will undergo vakara as in it is vakara of v again it is vakara of a v pratyay v is the script pratyay vakara when vakara alone remains of v pratyay that is an aprukta pratyay and aprukta aprukta ekal pratyay is an aprukta aprukta it is called aprukta and aprukta ve he apruktasya lopa bhavati thereby this will go this entire thing will go you will have only u but since this pratyay was there that will have brought this tugagama for the dhatu since it is a krit uh, it is a krit pratyay it is a pith pratyay pakara is it therefore uh, rasvasya and it follows a rasva dhatu therefore the rasva dhatu will attract tugagama and that rasva dhatu tugagama will go to the end of the being a kit adyantau takitau being kit it will go to the anta and anta desha means u plus ta you content of tugagama is ta therefore therefore you will get sanyut and what is sanyut sanyut is karta it is kartari arthe it is kip so we have uh, seen here in this sutra if you take out one condition and see whenever the question is asked raji it kim here then that except for raji everything else should be same you cannot take ta pratya or you cannot take uh, some other pari uh, uh, upasarga or some other upasarga it has to be a same upasarga it has to be say everything else should be same only one condition is dropped thereby you'll get a perfect example that's how uh, kashika kara does it it's very nice to see finding examples where only one condition is dropped everything is the same look at this samahiti kim when samahiti kim only some is changed so instead of some uh, something else will come in there so he says kimrat in kimrat example kim so kimrat means what kim raja kim raja ithyartha what so we say that what kind of a friend are you meaning what you are no friend that is the meaning of uh, kimrat also that you are no that is what kim will bring in here you are no raja you are no raja what kind of a king are you you are no king that's what you are saying you are, uh, nobody behaves in this manner so therefore what kind of king are you you are no king at all that's what the meaning is when you add kim so kim mitram you are not a friend at all kim rat you are no raja so there he his kept the raj raj dhatu rajru dhatu is there quip is there all being same except for some has been replaced by kim kim rat need not necessarily be an upasarga so uh, it can be a samasa also so here it, it is a samasa kim is added there but makara is there so kim plus rat kim plus ra, kim plus rajru and then uh, this makara will become anuswara monuswara is applicable here here also you see sanyuta sam plus actually it, it will it is rasvasya pitikrute tuk samyuta and then it will become sanyuta by monuswara sanyuta sanyut sorry sanyut otherwise um, had it been uh, raj then this makara will would have taken makara adesha similarly koviti kim so sam plus raj is common but instead of kip pratya samadar pratya here you see samrajita samrajita uh, and then samrajitum tumun pratya samrajitavyam tavya pratya everything else is same therefore makara of sam becomes anuswara these are counter examples next sutra is he ma pare va he ma pare va what is the anuvrutti 
8326. You go to 8326. What is the anuvrutti here? Maha. Makarasya. He ma pare. Makarasya. Va. What is the adesha? What is the adesha? Anus. Uh, 26. So, of course, uh, even if the adesha here you don't know what it is. Maha, Makarha, Va. So, Maha is, Maha here is, is from, is Prathama Ekvachana. This Maha is, uh, this Maha is also coming here, 26, till 26. This is Shashti Ekvachana. Maha, Makarasya, Makarasya, Makara Adesha Bhoti. When? He Ma Pare. And how? Vivashaya. What is He Ma Pare? They are in Samana Dikarnim. That is for sure, Saptami Ekvachana. So, Anuvrutti is what? Maha. Another Maha. So, Makarasya, Makara Adesha Bhavati. What else is there? That's it. So, this He, He is Saptami Ekvachana. Ma Pare is a Samasa, Saptami Ekvachana. Va is an Avyaya. This Maha, which comes from Monuswara, that is Shashti Ekvachana. This which comes from uh, earlier Sutra, Sama, uh, this one, uh, Mo Raji Samakku, that Mo Maha is Prathama Ekvachana. That's an Adesha. Therefore, he says, Mapare Hakare. What is the Samasa? Mapare. Mapare is a Samasa in Saptami Ekvachana. What does this mean? Makarha Maha. Maha Paraha Yasmat. What is that Maha? Maha is Makaraha. Makaraha Paraha Yasmat. Yasmat, it is in Samana Dikran with what? Anya Pada Pradana. Hori. Ma Pare He. Therefore, it is in Samana Dikran with He. Yasmat Hakara. Saha Ma Paraha. And Tasmin Ma Pare. Saha Ma Paraha. Saha Ma Paraha. And Tasmin. Mapare. So, Bahuri. So, that Makara, so see, what does this mean? It means in the Ma Paraha Yasmat Hakara. So, Ma is after which Hakara. So, this much condition is there Hakara and Makara, that should be there. Makarasya. He ma, pa, he ma pare va makarasya maha adesha bhoti. Therefore, in this condition, what is being said? Ma pare hakare pare masya mova vibhashaya makarasya makara adesha bhoti. Therefore, you see examples, it will be clear there. What is being said? Makarasya he. So, when he, which is the, where is the uh, sthani now? This is not the sthani. If this is the sthani, makara, it cannot take uh, ma pare, ma pare ha. So, makara is following hakara. But this makara is not the sthani. There should be another makara which is identified by this saptami. Meaning, there should be the sthani is identified by the saptami which is makara which makarasya he ma pare. So therefore this condition is makara followed by hakara which in turn is followed by makara then this makara takes which adesha it takes makara adesha optionally. So if it takes optionally makara in when it does not take makara adesha by the sutra what will it take? It will take anuswara. So there are two options now, either this makara which is followed by hakara which in turn is followed by makara, then the first makara will either take makara adesha or it will take anuswara adesha. This is how the combination is. Plus is a little, uh, plus is better used for padas so, or uh, when you are adding pratyas. So, the vritti says, ma pare hakare pare masya. Masya, when makarasya 
when it is followed by hakara which is mapara hakara that hakara which has makara after it that kind of makara will take what mahava example given is kim malayati so mal sanchalane there is a mal sanchalane dhatu uh, in the meaning of sanchalana some kind of uh, specific kind of movement so some movement so kim malayati and here you see uh, mal is sab bhadi gana dhatu it should have become malati so malayati is a uh, nijanta form it's a causative therefore when you derive this you say kim this mal mal plus nich causative hetumati nich hetumati nich plus what tip pratyaya this is uh, we take kim later so smalayati is uh, derived in this manner now what happens is that this nich causative this will create a new dhatu that takes tip what will nich cause now nich will cause vriddhi lakara cannot take vriddhi therefore puganta lagu lagu padasya cha so therefore it will make mal content of uh, nich is e ikara therefore it will become mali mali plus tip mali plus t t will t is sarvadha tuka thing so therefore it will cause it will bring in shap plus t what does this shap do shap will cause guna so you will get male male content of shap is a and ati so you will get ati here a plus t what can a do now male it will make malai h o y a y v a so we'll get h o y a y mala smalai plus a plus tit i am telling you what we are expecting okay so what should have you got malayati this should have been for the form causes to move he she or it causes to move what is the form malayati therefore something else is happening there this something else is this uh, mal dhatu is in a section of a dhatu pata where it is uh, a myth so makara is it so the dhatus where makara is it however in mal dhatu makara is not it in this dhatu makara is not it however it still still gets myth sanya so it's a section in dhatu pata i'm just giving this as an aside not important if you don't understand it's a little complicated because you have to go to the section of dhatu pata there are some dhatu pata sutras which are applicable here some uh, some of these uh, sutras are applicable uh, elsewhere also some sutras may be there which make by uh, so what what it dhatu pada sutra in sense there is a definition of myth given to some set of dhatus and there is a sutra which is mitam hasva and therefore this dhatu actually mali although it takes nich still it uh, this dirghatvam is dropped so mitam hasva i'll apply here and i'll say malayati it may be applicable at a earlier stage itself but i am just completing this by how do you get this form by dhatu pada sutra mitam hraswa those dhatus which are either myth by in the dhatu pata makara is it or due to there being uh, uh, there being uh, made it so we say that uh, for example uh, myth we say what sarvadhatukam apit nit so although sarvadhatukam apit if it is an apit pratyaya and it is a sarvadhatuka pratyaya we deem it to be nit it is deemed to be nit there is no nyakara letter which is an it in uh, such uh, cases but still we say since it is apit by a sutra which is sarvadhatuka pratyaya if it is a sarvadhatuka pratyaya and it is an apit pratyaya meaning pakara is not it then it is deemed to be nit although nakara is not it similarly some dhatus there although makara is not it still they are deemed to be myth and thereby mitam hasva by that uh, 
Malayati form you will get. You will not get Mahalayati because this is what we expect. However, Mitam Hraswa, thereby we get Malayati. Mitam Dhatuna, Mitam Dhatuna, Hraswa Adesha Hoti. Anyway, so thereby what do you get now? Kim Malayati. And there, this Makara now is here. Monuswara is Prapta, therefore you will get Kim Malayati in one Paksha. Monuswaraha. By that Makarasya Anuswara Adesha Bhoti. Padantasya Makarasya. Other option is what? Our Sutra. Ma Pare Hakare Pare. This is a. Uh, this is optionally, therefore Anuswara is not made at all. So, what is it? Kim, first it is Kim, Malayati. If you apply the Sutra Monuswaraha, then you will get the first form. Kim Malayati. If you do not apply the Sutra at all, the form is still this Makara. So, this Makarasya, Herb. Ha pare makare pare makarasya. This is a stani. This entire thing is the condition. Thereby, this makarasya as. Makara will be replaced by makara itself. Therefore, we will get kim malayati. And since uh, other possible form, if at all, expected, what would it be? If it takes Anuswara, then uh, Yai, Anuswara se Yai Parasavarnaha. Can that apply here? Yai Parasavarna here, if you take this Paksha, then anus, the Anuswara is the Adesha. Anuswara se Yai Parasavarna Adesha Bhoti. Is it apl applicable? Can it become Parasavarna here? Anyone? No, how is excluded? Yeah. So, yai pare nasti tatra. There is no yai. It is hakara is excluded in yai. That's the only letter which is excluded. Therefore, kim la malayati is one form. Uh, kim makara with makara or anuswara. Kim malayati or kim malayati. And uh, another thing is that hakara followed by makara is difficult to pronounce in uh, uh, in uh, Vedas, in, in uh, Pratishakya, it is taught as this Makara and Hakara are interchange in pronunciation. It is taught only in chanting. Therefore, you see, you try to Malayati, you have to take so much of effort. Kim Malayati, it, it will not come. How, how will you pronounce Makara follow, which is followed by Hakara? Malayati, very difficult to pronounce. Therefore, in chanting, it is taught in Pratishakya, it is to be learnt in Pratishakya, Veda Pratishakya. There it is swapped and even sometimes uh, you will hear a duplication of Makara itself. Hakara sound is very difficult to hear there. Malayati. So, Kim Malayati. So, Hakara and Makara is swapped during, uh, for example, Brahma. Brahma also, how do you, you uh, Makara uh, follows Hakara in Brahma, Brahman, Brahman Pratipadikam. But how do you pronounce it? Brahman. So, Hakara and Makara uh, are interchanged as though during pronunciation. So, there is a Vartika here which says Yavala, Yavala Pare, Yavala, Yavala Pare, Yavala Va. Uh, I, I don't think so. There, uh, the Hema, the word is Hema, right? What way, how will you, Hema and Va are uh, completely different, right? So, uh, just look up the dictionary, I am not sure, but I don't think uh, it is alaya of Hema. Hema means, uh, does not mean vibration there, Himalaya in that Hema is, is uh, means snow. So, uh, uh, Himasya, so uh, Himarupa alaya or something of that sort, Samasa of that sort, Himalaya. Alaya, you see the word alaya there. So, it is, uh, I Himasya Alaya, so Himasya Alaya, uh, that kind of a meaning. Hima can also be uh, the, uh, uh, have another meaning there. Uh, so,
so hima as a parvata also and uh, thereby alaya of hima uh, personified mountain particular mountain which is personified personified or abode of snow snow is also uh, the meaning which is uh, there for hima so it is hima not uh, malaya so it is not malaya Yeah, yeah, so it is a Sanchalane, meaning is Sanchalana. Anyway, so uh, Yavala Pare, Yavala Ava. What is Yavala or Yavala? Yavala, Yakara, Vakara, Lakara. Akara here is for Ucharana. Just like this Ma, Ma is for Ucha, Ucharana in Mo, uh, Mo Anuswaraha or in, uh, in this Ma Pare or the earlier Sutra, Mo Raji Samakku. Here also, Mo Raji Samakku. Akara is Ucharana Arthi. Moraji Samakku. Not in Monuswara. Monuswara it is Shashti of Makara. So there it is right. But Mapareva, it is not Mapare. Mapare is only Makara Pare. This Akara after Makara is for Ucharana. Similarly, here uh, in the Vartika also, Yavala Pare, Yavala Vaha, there all these uh, Akaras in between Yavala here or here, both are. Uh, all these akaras are ucharanarthi. So when yakara, vakara or lakara follow, then what is the adesha? Yakara, vakara, lakara. They are the adesha. So this is a vartika here which says that yavala pare. Here it was said ma pare hakare. So he, now it is saying this he is common. He is common but instead of ma pare, you have yavala pare. So ya pare Va pare la pare va. Not ha, not he pare, not he, he not ma pare he, but ya pare he, va pare he, or la pare he. Therefore, what is makarasya? Kim makarasya uh, yakara pare, ha, hakara pare, yakara pare. So, hakara which is followed by yakara, and in that sequence, makara which is the sthani, that will take uh, what adesha? Optionally, it will take ya adesha. Ya as in uh, it is a uh, it is uh, yakara uh, savarna adesha will be there. So savarna for makara uh, between makara and yakara. That is anunasika yakara. Therefore, uh, example again, kim ya kim ya is ya is an avyaya yes. So if you derive this. Uh, this should actually there is a typo here. Okay, let's see. Uh, this should be Kim Hyaha. Okay, or this is an optional form. So if you derive this, what will you get? Kim Hyaha. So what was there yesterday? What happened yesterday? So what was there yesterday? There, Kim, Makara, which is followed by what? Hakara, which is in turn followed by Yakara. Therefore, Yavala, Yavala Pare, Ya Pare, there Ya Pare is satisfied condition, Ya Pare, Makarasya. What kind of Ya Pare, Makarasya? Ya Pare, Hakara Pare. Ya Pare, Hakara Pare, Makarasya, Makara, uh, or Yavalava. So Yavalava with this what, what form will you get? You will get Va. Since Vibhasha is given therefore you will get optionally Ya Adesha and Anuswara. It will be uh, it will be Anunasika Yakara. Anunasika Yakara and then Yahaha. This is one form or you will get Kim Yahaha. This is the other form. Because this is by what? Monuswara. This is by what? This is by the Vartika. Yavala. Uh, yavala pare, Yavala ma. So this is an example for here. Similarly for Vakara and Lakara, there are other examples given. Kim. So other examples are what? Kim. This is also wrong. 
it should be Q. It should be Q. Vakara should be nasalized there. Q. Lhayati. Q Lhayati. So Lhayati here is what? Uh, same same meaning as uh, the earlier dhatu where that we saw, uh, which is this mal. Like mal, mal also there is this. Uh, sorry, yellow. Kim Valayati. Yeah. So that is that also has some kind of a gatyartha ho dhatu hal dhatu not ho dhatu hal dhatu also is sanchalane so mal is also sanchalane hal is also sanchalane so vakara ya va la so we will get this is for va va example so in one paksha you will get nasalized vakara and in another paksha you will get Anuswara. Third example given is this Kim Lhadayati. So Kim Lhadayati in that Kim Lhadayati. Yava La. So Vakara. Kim Lhadayati. There also you will get this nasalized lakara or anuswara. They are the two forms. So sanchalane, chalane, and then this is also. So uh, all these three dhatus which are given an example with mal, uh, wal, uh, or uh, la. All these are what? These are having chalana artha. Ladate, ladayati. Oh, this is also causative. Just let me look up. Ladayati. No, this is uh, okay. The last dhatu is lad. Uh, that says so. Uh, lada there is. You see, lada is uh, modane. So modane arte. Lada is modane arte. Modane. So uh, and it is causative. Therefore, uh, what uh, making happy? So that kind of meaning. If it is bhadi gana, it is which gana? Lad is lad is bhadi gana. So therefore, it that is also uh, it is also in uh, in a uh, causative sense. So kim ladayati. When you add this, then you will get what kim. Kim Lhadayati is equal to, so when you derive this, you will get equal to Kim Lhadayati or Kim, Kim Lhadayati or Kim Lhadayati. So these are the two forms here. A little difficult, I mean how many times will you see these kind of examples? It is a little uh, difficult to see. Yeah, Sukhyare is also okay. Modane, uh, Dhatu Pata meaning was Modane, same meaning. Harsha, Harsha or Modane. Napare Naha, next sutra says Napare Naha. So Napare Naha, in continuation, same uh, we have seen in Vartika, Yavala are covered, the sutra covers Napare Naha. What is it saying? Napare Hakare Masya Nova. So therefore, here you have anurutya of maha, masya no va, vivashaya. Therefore, va is also an anurutti there. And what else is there? Uh, sutra number 8327. So you trace back to 8327. This vartika is done. Na pare naha. So at 27, what is the anurutti? This maha. Maha is what? Makara. Makara. So maha, masya no va. Actually, it should not be this maha. If it is this maha, then uh, it has to undergo vivakti parinamaha. Uh, this has to become, this is first case here, it should become shashti. So, makarasya, masya. Makarasya nova, therefore, uh, 
we can take this makara here from Muvanuswara without Vibhakti Parinama or if you take this ma, then it should be with Vibhakti Parinama. Shashti Ekvachana, anyway it will be Shashti Ekvachana here. Va, na pare, na pare Saptami Ekvachana and it is also Bauri like what? Na pare, na para and naha is the Adesha therefore Nakara is, uh, it is the Adesha therefore it is Prathama Ekvachana, na pare hakare, na para hakare Bauri Nakaraha, Paraha, Yasmat Hakara, Saha Hakaraha, Na Paraha, Na Pare, Na Paraha, and then Tasmin Na Pare Hakare. Masya, no wise, Naha, Nahava, Nakaraha Adesha Bhuti, Vivashaya. So, example given is Kim Rute. Example is what here? It is Kim Rute. And what is kin nute mudhatu? Mudhatu is apanayane. Apanayane. So uh, to steal or to hide. So this has a meaning of apanayana. Has the meaning of stealing or taking something, hiding, concealing something. So kin nute. It will become nakara. Optionally, it will become nakara. Therefore, it will become kinnute or it can become anuswara and thereby kinnute. Kinnute or kinnute. These are the two forms. What else is there? Anuswara. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. So, Yannute, example of Yannute, Tanhotum, these are examples. Next sutra, interestingly, there are uh, two ways to say this. Adhyantu Takito has absolutely no uh, scope here. This Adhyantu Takito, in the sequence, it seems to be incorrect, in Lagu sequence also. So, in other books, in other Lagu books, I think Gita Press also uh, places this as the 84th Sutra, but this 84th Sutra seems to be wrong uh, because we are in the Hal Sandhi Prakarana. In Hal Sandhi Prakarana, what is the use of Adhyanto Takito unless it is called for in some derivation? And in this derivation where we have reached Kin Hute, the Adhyanto Takito has no place. However, we can say that somewhere we may have used it earlier and thereby uh, it has called in here. Because he has talked about some uh, uh, agama possible. Otherwise, better still is to take the sutra dhasidut here. So, we will look at dhasidut now and then uh, we will look at that sequence uh, in one patha. In one patha, dhasidut is taken here and then this is considered as the 84th sutra. And then this uh, Adhyanto Takito is considered as the 85th Sutra. The rest of the sequence remains same, just that numbers will change. So this will become 86th. We will see why. And then uh, everything else will remain same. So just two, three sutras will change their numbering due to sequence. So, the sutra next is a Sandhi sutra, it has a Vidhi sutra which is Dhasidhut. What does it say? Dhasidhut say Daha C, C is Saptami Ekvachana and then Daha, Daha we see Dhut is an Agama, Takara is it Agama and therefore Adhyantru Takita is introduced in this uh, when Dhut is ordained, see Agama is ordained here. So far we have not seen a sutra in Laghu where Agama is ordained. It may have come in as an application in derivation that we saw which is not applicable in the uh, Sandhi Prakarna. He will introduce the sutra only when it is applicable in a Prakarna that he is dealing with. In this derivation this Dasidut is, uh, uh, is a Sandhi Sutra. However, Adhyantu Takito is applicable because you do not know where this Tit Agama, Dhut, Dhut present Tit Agama, where should it go? Where should this Agama go? 
therefore he introduces adhyanta takito after dhasidhut that seems to be the correct sequence therefore i have uh, taken that sequence now uh, dakarasya siva what is this daha is it panchami ek vachana or shashti ek vachana there this is panchami ek vachana dasparasya dasparasya sasya dhudva vibhashya so therefore 8329 sutra you see in this uh, sequence also na pare na then no ho kuktuk shari which we will see later but dasi dut this sutra is taken and c is he saptami dut va has an anuvrutti till 31 therefore va will also come here vibhashaya vibhashaya bhavati dasi dut optionally there is a dhudagama dhutagama dhudagama is there optionally for what so for what is the agama now there is no shashti at all you don't see any shashti here is this shashti dakarasya dhudagama bhavati va na va so this is taken as panchami why it is taken as panchami we'll see uh, is dat parasya and how do you get shashti there is no sthani we have seen earlier tasmad ityuttarasya tasmad dat dat has been said so by vritti we know and sampradaya tells us that this dha is a panchami vachana therefore not dakarasya but dat dakarat parasya uh, sasya how do you know this saka c is sthani c is in saptami ek vachana sakara is how can you know that sakara is sthani or dakara is sthani tasmad iti uttarasya by that dha dat dakarat tasmat dakarat parasya therefore that which follows dakara should be the uh, sthani what is the condition here dakara and there is sakara this much we know which is the sthani we don't know we know dhut is ordained that much we know by the sutra we know here that dhut is ordained now if dhut is ordained dhut is what it is dhut it is it should be dhut it is dhut so dhut we know is ordained takara is it we know ukara is it upadesha janana sikait uh, halantyam is takara is therefore tasya lopa why that only dhakara remains dhakara is ordained if dhakara is ordained what is oh, i'm sorry it is already 10 5 past 10 it is oh i'm sorry i didn't see so anyway i'll just uh, mention uh, we'll come back to this in the next part ha huh? but which is the sthani between dhakara and sakara there is no sthani so tasmariti uttarasya by that panchami tells you that sakara is sthani and in this sutra sakara in saptami tells you that the dakara is sthani because tasmi uh, tasmin uh, tasmariti uttarasya but uh, tasminiti nirdishte purvasya so tasminiti nirdishte c tasminiti sakare iti nirdishte purvasya adesha bhavati and tasmariti dakarat uh, uttarasya adesha hoti uttarasya sakarasya adesha so both are stanis due to this panchami and saptami they are pointing to each other so there one uh, paribhasha sutra we'll see in the next part huh? it says ubhaye nirdishte ubhaye nirdishte or ubhaye nirdeshe ubhaye nirdeshe panchami nirdesho baliyan what is pointed out by panchami is stronger than the saptami when both panchami and saptami exist and sthani does not exist that that's why panchami baliyan and panchami nirdesha baliyan therefore panchami whatever is shown by the panchami that becomes the sthani therefore sakara becomes the sthani and we know that that's how this vritti uh, comes in that dat parasya sakarasya sasya dhudva dhudagama vibhashaya bhavati we'll see the examples and other in the next one i lost track of time i'm sorry so, so if i uh, overshoot the time someone please remind me otherwise i may sometimes forget vrtavasane oh. natarajarajo nanna dhadakkanno panchavaram uddhartu kamassanakadi siddhane tad vimarsheshu sutra jalam any questions any difficulty okay so i'll see you in the next part ha huh? uh, think over if there are any questions namaste